Zeta Puni, power hitting cleanup spot on deck as the off speed has Gibson off balance. And Valerie Cagle, after walking off the circle in dismay on Sunday, gets a one, two, three inning here in the top. Reliant on her curve drop combo as this is poked out down the left field line and fair. Mackenzie Clark continues her hitting ways after a clutch three run home run on Sunday. You give them in March, April, it don't matter. They all, they all figure out. Cagle swinging at the first pitch. This has 6-3 double play written all over it, but it takes Katsoyanopoulos off the bag as Bella Faw's throw is high. Payoff pitch with the runner on the move. It's popped into shallow left. Easy grab for West as Clemson goes down. Got her swinging back-to-back -back K's as we go back to the changeup that ended the top of the first inning. Tennessee and Alabama up there near the top of the uh, the conference is not there and there. She catches her looking for strike three. Certainly a top heavy lineup though. We'll get to the bottom here in a little bit as a two hopper finds the shortstop Longaleo and it's six up, six down for Valerie Cagle. Three, two, misses high and outside and Clemson gets a base runner here in the second. Very good college hitter. Speed on the base pass as Vieira puts down a bunt. Katsoyanopoulos able to fire again over to Rodriguez, and it's a three to four sacrifice put by Vieira. Question is, how can Tennessee replace the NFCA Pitcher of the Year? And that's a phenomenal rise ball. Just threw that thing up and by her. Oda on deck, the other original Tiger. Has a beautiful front door curve. Pushes the count to one and two. A delayed steal, gunned out by Nugent. Her first caught stealing as a lady volunteer. And it sends us to the third inning. One more look at this gem of a throw. You don't want people on base when they're hitting. Drop ball tails low, and it's a leadoff walk for Panel, the first base runner today for the Lady Vols. Both sides and looks for a DP. Trying to get a bunt, base hit. 2-2. Two -two. Delivers from Cagle. He's been at Clemson as she's healthy. 3-2, what an eye on a changeup taken by the freshman fall, and there's two on with one out for Kiki Malloy. 1-1, one, one, changeup, stroke down the right field line. Johnson to the warning track, it's off the 205 sign. Runners had to hold, panel gets sent home, and she'll score on the RBI double by Malloy. I said it earlier, leadoff walks, score. I don't know how, I don't know why, but they always do. And That's now with only one out in the inning, you can see that ball, just, you got to understand, that ball is tailing away from the right fielder all the way out there. She ran as far as she could. Game winning home runs against Baylor and Stetson, and what a snag by Hiller. Wisely runs towards the base runner in Rodriguez and keeps everyone put for the second out. Created that, that pickle, but I don't know about on this level as a two hopper chases Brown to her left and Cagle able to tightrope out of damage. The first person I went out for was Mike Candrea. I got Candrea on board and went after John Rittman. And I want to tell you, I look good. Oda yeah. strokes one down the first. Well, she'll head over to second for a one out double as we are joined by Ralph Weekly, the former Tennessee head coach. Well, I don't want the lawyers coming after me. I have a lot of respect for them, but uh, uh, you chicken. they're sharp. Rodriguez fires to first and a chance for Mackenzie Clark here with two outs. Ralph, don't you hate they're playing softball right in the middle of our conversation? Absolutely, whoops. Line drive to center field, Malloy is there. And with the big hit in the top of the inning, Malloy makes the grab. I think, I'm, I know it happened, but I think it's accurate too. Well, tell me something, how good is Malloy? Really good, absolutely. And uh, it came down to us in UCLA, and we were fortunate enough to get her. And uh, it was a great four years. You, you see know. a base hit there to right field. One memory or one trip that you hold most dear is, as Nugent goes down, second strikeout here this inning. Actually, we're fortunate enough to have had two, two seconds. Brown ball to third, Brown is there. and. Well, Coach, we thank you so much for joining us and hope you have a fantastic rest of your trip here to Clemson. Outfield playing a little bit shaded towards left field as that's where Cagle smashes it. Past the shortstop in fall and a leadoff single here for the All-American. 
And as a freshman in Florida, a complete game shutout against this Clemson team last year. As Pickens starts with a rise ball past the catcher in Nugent. And then we're back on Sunday against Fordham as Lungaleo drops the elbow again. Fly ball to left field, won't have the distance though as West times it up and keeps Cagle at second. Trying to cut out the run at home on a single. And that's exactly what they'll get. More up the middle. Cagle has to hold, and Clemson will have runners on the corners with one out. Yeah, you certainly couldn't run on that. Yo one. Row two. Dribbles to home. More yeah. will take second, but that's a run-saving stop by Nugent. Runners at second and third here with one out. The 2-2 pitch. A late life on the heater has Vieira swinging and missing. Another 3-2. Misses high and just one for 15 this season is high. And the ball gets to the backstop. Baumhar comes in and scores. Clemson wow, ties that. it up. You watch right here. That ball just jumped. It hit the screen. Yes, that, that was a huge, huge jump on that rise ball. Pickens responsible for these two as a ground ball finds Fall, another freshman. She'll fire across the diamond. And I think getting this leadoff batter is huge. 3-2 pitch, oh, off the left leg of Cagle, and that'll be an infield single. One, two. Ground ball up the middle, sliding stop made by Moore. She'll flip to short for the grab, and Lungaleo will hold it. If she's gonna hit something, she's gonna hit my pitch, not hers. Oh, Malloy goes after one in the dirt. Late steal, successful by Mueller. This is the first non-neutral matchup. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, oh, yeah. She wet. She was gone. Jim Cooper has ruled the runner out. Swapping over to Tennessee as Malloy goes down on the drop ball. Cagle struts out of the circle with a shutdown frame. Spot in the lineup circled. Oh, it's the changeup that worked so well for Pickens in this matchup last season. Orange in attendance up there. Got her swinging. Rodriguez again on the drop ball. Fell in the semifinals to Florida State. And a 1-2-3 inning for Cagle. She's getting better as the game goes on. Cagle's first matchup with Pickens today, and she will bunt it right back to the pitcher. And that's where mind games have to play in effect. Mashley Rogers, who threw over 140 innings last year. A high chopper challenges the freshman Fall, who gets it on the high hop. What a play. That was a nice play. Clemson does as well, but I, I'm just saying, they just giving credit where credit's due. Called strike three. Moore goes down looking. Pickens able to keep pace with Cagle. I know this much. The 45 didn't like the call. Well, the string has been pulled. Nine strikeouts for Cagle. Three softly hit created balls by Pickens, and we are off to the eighth. Freshman spot and fall on deck, and a swinging strike and a spinning swing as well has Cagle to 10. Fall is. And she rips one into the glove of Cagle. What a grab. Look right here. Bang. Bang. 63 career home runs for Kiki Malloy. And she'll rope one out to right for a two out single. Well, you know what? I'll live with it. A couple soft outs and a strikeout against Cagle. Hard hit. Picked up by Brown, and she'll fire it across the diamond. It's a hit in front of Cagle. 2-0 swing, finds Foss glove, throw is high, Clark will head to second. That throw is high, and Clemson has the winning run in scoring position. But there are certainly pros and cons of this review. As we take a look at whether Clark potentially came off, and it looks like she might have. I don't think so. Right there. But the hand, let's see. Let's check, let's check her hand here. Watch the glove. Okay, we're there. See if we could pause it. We're safe. Right. We're, we're safe. There. Well, that, that foot is still on the base at that time. So Valerie Cagle is due up, and there's your ruling from Jim Cooper for those keeping score at home. Well, how about that? One big one at stake here. 0-2 to Lungaleo. Chopper to second. Rodriguez to first, and we are headed to the ninth. Hitters count. Puts West on with two outs. 
So it brings up the OU transfer in Nugent. 1-0. A dangerous batter. Payoff pitch, runner on the move, and it's laced to deep right center. Clark watches it hit the top of the wall. Moving around third, throw home is late, and the Lady Vols take the lead. Nugent makes her mark in her first season. One more look to see Clark's path, and she never, never could have caught that. No, 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 she couldn't catch that ball. She did everything she could do to, to deep the, the base runner. Making noise. Now ball down the first baseline, handled by Hiller, and we head to the bottom of the ninth inning. Here we see the only two matchups between these teams, a walk-off in 2022 in the ninth for Clemson, and the Tigers are hoping for the same against Pickens, who blanked him last season. He has reached twice today. Five, six, seven for the Tigers. Two dribbled up the middle, diving, and it gets by Rodriguez for a leadoff single. See what happens when you battle, and you battle, and you battle, and you battle. I think yep. about potentially running. Defense plays for the bunt. Vieira swings away and skies one to right. Leach fresh into the contest. will line it up and make the grab for out number one. Two, two, got her swinging. And the reaction from Pickens. Out to the 5 6 hole in the deep depths of short. Faw makes the throw, and Tennessee comes to Clemson and wins in extras. And what a terrific ball game.